so they're about golf ball size so if you look amongst the stones which are about that size you've got your most most chance of finding them so when you look at the beach the beach has been graded ho 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 you beauty <laughs> am i pleased to see that <laughs> i'll tell you what am i pleased to see that there we are a nice little nice little echinoid yeah beautiful there we are that's what we're looking for And thanks for joining us today. We're at Peacehaven. We're at the far eastern end of the Undercliff, and we're going along this beach here between here and New Haven, which finishes at the port. I'm here with uh, Grace and her brother Smudge. Grace has been about five or six times. Smudge has never done it before, so he'll be learning how to find fossils just like you. And we are fossilised Brighton. The bits do fall off the cliff. The beach is covered in them. Here's something I filmed. Make yourself aware of the dangers, but yeah, let's find some fossils. We're going to leave the first part of the beach because everyone else who comes down here um, comes to this bit only, up to that first rock fall, so we'll swerve that bit. But there's definitely fossils here. So we can't, you can't chisel the bedrock and you can't chisel the cliffs, but anything which is in, um, anything loose or in boulders, then uh, you're welcome to have a go at it. So all the talk down here, is between 78 million years and 83 and a half million years old so frankly if you find a fossil down here it's 80 million years old there or thereabouts so that's towards the end of the cretaceous period but the chalk is a calcite it's a calcite limestone and it was formed um, down by the mediterranean so it would have been the bottom of a shallow sea and it's very very pure because it wouldn't have been near land so it wouldn't have been infiltrated with um, with dirt from uh, rivers and uh, marshes and things like that. So it's very, very white and it's interspersed with uh, flint layers. The chalk comes from plankton and uh, the flint comes from sponges. Basically, they're, they're just the, the skeletal remains of the creatures, just absolutely billions of them compacted together. The cliffs here are about 40 to 50 meters, which for comparison, when you think like Beachy Head is about 100, 162 meters, so like it's four times the height of this. So these look high, but uh, Beachy Head is a lot higher. But Beachy Head is the tallest chalk cliff in Britain, so it's like being a monster in it. So what we're looking for is uh, urchins today. So a flint urchin. They're about golf ball size. So if you look amongst the stones which are about that size, you've got your most most chance of finding them. So when you look at the beach, the beach has been graded. Ho 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 you beauty. <laughs> am I pleased to see that? <laughs> I'll tell you what, am I pleased to see that? There we are, a nice little nice little echinoid. Yeah, beautiful. There we are, that's what we're looking for. So it's roughly the shape you're looking for. That, that's more noticeable than anything. Obviously there's lines and dots all over it, but the shape, it's a sort of bun shape with a flat bottom. And sometimes they're upside down, so you might see it like this. But this is a, a reasonably small one, but so they do get a bit bigger. But yeah, look for the rocks which are that size where they accumulate, and you've got a best chance of finding one of these. Bag it. Baggage. First point, that's first find. Oh. I was just chatting to the camera and there it was. Sparkling at you. 
Did we need yes. them to turn up today? Yes, we do. Look at that little, little monkey. Look at him. Blooming off faster right there. I don't find many of these because they you have to really look for them on their own amongst the small rocks. But yeah, you occasionally find them out on their own. Lovely, off faster. And that's probably the adult size. Although it's really tiny, that's actually probably adult size. Nice. Very nice. Lovely, there you go. And it was even sitting upright, wasn't it? That's what we're looking for. So, echinoid urchin, 80 million years old. Beautiful. <laughs> Just here. You see it? And it's upside down. There you are. So it's upside down. Oh, that's all right. It's yeah. There's quite a lot of uh, the white shell still on it. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it's wearing away to reveal the blue flint underneath. There you are. So that was his, uh, that's where the food went in. That's where the food came out. <laughs> Lovely. And I didn't have to say the word anus. <laughs> this is one that's still in the boulder. So this boulder's loose. And where the waves have been rolling stones to pebbles at it, it's completely wiped off half of it. As you can see, it's still the same shape. It's that domed top and flat bottom, but half of it's missing. So you could dig it out, but it's not really worth having. So we're after finding some whole ones of those, but as you can see, it's quite a large one, isn't it? And it's, it's, this is chalk inside yeah, it's, as well? Yeah, it's chalk inside and outside. So um, yeah, you can clean it right back to just shell. So this is the actual shell, which is uh, now calcite. What you got? I think it's one of the more pointed ones. It's not full, um, but it's quite. Oh, it's quite nice. It's ni it is nice, yeah. It's kind of missing its two bits here. Yeah, the, de the definition on it is quite nice, and you can see, yeah, it's definitely a more pointy one. This is a, a nice sized chalk ammonite. You see it's, uh, it curls out that way. So, it was, it's, so it's lost a section that goes around there, but as you can see, it would have been nice. And each of these is its uh, chambers. So the chambers would be quite large. What are, what are oh, these yeah, that, bits here? That's a, a suture and suture lines. And between each chamber, they make these suture lines, which kind of lock it together. It's not dissimilar to the same suture lines that run down the front of a skull, the way they knit together. So basically it's the way the bone grows. Should we have a measure up? Yeah. See how big are they? <laughs> I've got that at 93, 93 centimetres, so just okay. over three foot. But yeah, wow. they're quite a size, I know. Quite an animal in real life, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Being quite a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, thanks very much for joining us today. Um, we found a fair number. These ones were smudges. He got a beautiful Micraster, which is definitely a winner. These ones are Grace's, and she found her very first Ophasta. And I found these, though I'm not taking them all. Uh, we'll be leaving a few here. Thanks very much for watching. Um, we've, uh, we've had a most enjoyable and most entertaining day. I hope um, you could see how to, find, how to find at least this type of fossil and then we'll look for other things at another time. If you've seen one you like the look of, keep an eye on Etsy and you might be able to take it home. <laughs> Lovely, well we'll leave some now. Thanks very much. Oh. From the fossilised. <laughs> fossilised. <laughs> fossilised. <laughs> <laughs>